Alfredo. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway. Who's your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Fredo. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Oh, what? Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that till I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it.
Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. I really do not like you. I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <clears throat> All right. Let's take you in. This is uh, very kind of you. Suffering from exposure. Suffer a little longer. Oh. 
My lord, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the bags. <laughs> oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. 